Welcome back to Sunrise Daily World. Yes, we'll be focusing on that unfortunate uh, Ethiopian airline crash, Ethiopian air crash. Yes, uh, we've got uh, retired Air Vice Marshal Femi Ayeni, who is uh, a certified C-130 training captain. He's first of all a pilot. He's got experience, uh, so which is going to bring to bear. Thank you for coming on this morning, sir. Thank you. I, I know that first and foremost, you know, those who may ask, look, how does this concern us? <laughs> why, why, why is this coming <laughs> on the front pages today? But yes, we know two Nigerians were involved in that particular unfortunate incident. But uh, two Nigerian airlines as well have placed orders for this same kind of aircraft, uh, 737 MAX. Uh, and well, then. One of them placed order for 10. <laughs> well, what Epi said on, on the Boeing's website, you see that the Epi has got 10. 10. Uh, uh, I think Eric Air 2. Uh, are they expecting mm. delivery of some? But there's this particular one. New, a new, new airline. It hasn't there's come up yet. Uh, and ordered a hundred. Green yeah. Africa Airways on Boeing's uh, Boeing Media Room. Uh, so December 2018, when it was published, mm. they said that uh, they're expecting a hundred, and that's about 11.7 billion dollar mm. total. They say that is the largest agreement coming through from Africa. So this is a huge industry. Uh, not to even go to how much Boeing is making on this particular fleet. I think they have a backlog of over 4,000 yeah. yeah. that, that did not deliver there. So this is huge. More than 4,000. So you see? Because they have orders for 5,011, and only 350 has been delivered as of March this month, that is this year. Now, mm. with that background information, so naturally people will then ask, wait a minute, is Boeing ever going to say, okay, we will stop producing this aircraft or we will withdraw it? Do you see that happening? No. No. Oh. No and no. The, I'm not here to campaign for Boeing or I'm not their marketing executive. But so far as I'm concerned, the Boeing 737 is still a very reliable machine. What we are having now is a battle between man and computer. Man and computer. Now, what the extent of, why, why do I say this? It is because of human error that all these upgrades, computer-related upgrades, come up. Not even only in vehicles, even in cars. Because in the past, 70 to 80 percent of air accidents are due to pilot's error, human error. Now, to avoid this, they decide to go upgrades, computer, 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 computer. Who tells you, that tells you, okay, something is going wrong with your system. This is what you need to do. But now, the computer itself is now doing the opposite. How, how so? It, Give me a case uh, okay. a scenario. For, okay. for instance, what, okay. what could make a computer change its mind? Now, the, 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 the first crash of the 737 MAX 8, it was a system error. The, the, uh, the one Lion that happened in uh, Malaysia. Jakarta, in Malaysia. It was a system error. The final report is coming out sometime September this year. But the preliminary report has traced the problem to the maneuverability calibration uh, augmentation system, which shows you maybe the aircraft is going to a stall and what you need to do. When the aircraft is going to a stall, the computer says nose down to avoid that stall. But the aircraft was not actually going to a stall. Oh. Mm. So the pilot will try to correct it back. It trims it, nose up. The computer says nose down. So uh, when you hear that uh, accidents for in involving uh, uh, aircrafts, they usually happen, say, six minutes into, six to ten minutes into, into uh, take off or six to ten minutes to London. Is there any mystical? Mm -mm. What does no, it mean? No, no. Is it true? Those are the critical points. 
those are the critical points on the flight path during takeoff and landing. When you get to your altitude, most of the other things you do is monitoring your systems, monitoring your temperature and pressures, monitoring that everything is going as per plan. But during takeoff, you need your maximum power. You are going to a climb, you need your maximum power, you are watching, because that is the time you are just bringing power to the engines. So you have to check the parameters. It's a critical point. Oh. And also when you are coming to land, it's also a critical point. You, you yeah. say that um, the 737 is still one of the safest airline air, aircrafts yes. on Earth. No, 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 no. I'm not talking. Not safety. Safety, yes. And also um, efficient. Is 737 has been the most successful out of all the Boeing's um, programs, so far I'm not concerned. You know, they have the 727, 737, 747, 57, 777, 787. But you see that there are, there are a lot of variants yeah, but of the 737. Is that not because the 737 Classic, the yes. fuel consumption was huge? Yes. So they came up with the B737, this one now, yes. for fuel efficiency. Exactly. efficiency. And they said that at the time, uh, they noticed that it saved them about 14% as a result exactly. of this particular one. So naturally, people will go for it. You <laughs> just like getting a Toyota and a Benz. And so if you want to save fuel, you go for that, that's it. Exactly. Fuel. But in design, something must give. And so there are those who said that at the design point, when they altered the position of the engine, and now this particular one, they say that at the time it saves them about 7% uh, fuel consumption as a result of the alteration of the design where the engines will be. So they then thought that was raised to Boeing but if they were going to alter it, you go back to, I think, about 14% fuel consumption, which is a point where some engineers argue that, that if they address that, it may just sort the problem out. You see, there's a competition between Airbus and Boeing. Granted, yeah. You have to accept that. Because Airbus, too, say, we're also going to launch yes. our own fuel consumption. There's a competition between Airbus and Boeing to see, OK, they're all in the market. They're all in the market. So if Mr. A does this and customer have tendency to go to that place, Mr. B also will improve on his own system. The, the 737 MAX 8 is an improvement on the 737-800. As a, as a flight instructor, uh, training captain, definitely the pilot would have been trained Yes. on some of the new stuff that's coming to this new aircraft. And um, with the benefit of hindsight, just about four month interval, a crash, two crashes occur of the same um, um, aircraft. As a trainer, what are those things that, or rather, let me just put it this way, is it likely that the pilots missed one thing or the other in the process of learning these things, because one of the issues that we also heard is that they are supposed to they, they are, they're, they're supposed to be able to switch off some of the those things that that cause the computer to so is there something they missed that they couldn 't be able to uh, you know activate that you know before the crash occurred one it is too early to start discussing about this crash of last Sunday. What cost it, we might not know. But it's the Until same when, thing, yes, you know, yes. with the previous one. Of Until four when they start doing their, premier, their investigation, it might take a long time. Imagine the, one, the crash of October last year. The plenary investigation came out some few months back. The final report is not coming up until September. Now, if you go back to that crash, the first crash of the 737 um, Max 8, yeah. <clears throat> The pilot that flew the aircraft the previous day before the crash had a similar problem. But what they did, the system that was giving this problem was cut off, switched off, and they went manual. And everything was okay until landing. They reported it to the upstream. 
the maintenance engineer did what is needful and certified it, grant tested, found okay, gave it to the next crew. The next crew took the airplane, had the same problem, but I want to believe that maybe they were over the independent, they were over dependent on the computer. Because if they switch it off and go oh. manual, and that is where, um, to your question, that the all aircraft systems are designed in such a way that you have plan A. If plan A fails, go to plan B. If plan B fails, then land as soon as possible or return back to base. Yeah, but in this particular case, they said when they noticed that there was a challenge, they were trying to make an air return. But as we know, that didn't happen, which is, I think, what I was yes. referring to, that it's a typology yes. of what happened the first time out. And that was where I was talking about the article where some of the engineers, uh, what they cited concerning the uh, design for this max, where they said, well, ordinarily, uh, I mean, the two move, engines, they have bigger engines, move the engine forward, yeah, so that we, ang we the angle increase of inclination. the stall. The angle of attack. Yeah, but, but what some of them speak to this too, because they said at the time that uh, when they noticed that challenge, that as a result of the redesign to save the fuel, because if you, they say if you change the angle of the of engine, yes. or angle of attack, as you say, it helped, that was when they discovered it could help conserve fuel upon that. But when they noticed that there was a stalling, when they raised the complaint, Boeing then introduced a software which is supposed to aid that stalling, because that, at the that, time they said the attack. Yes. So they also said that uh, at the time, it got into an uncontrollable spin. So this software was supposed to counter that uncontrollable spin, but it aggravates it. You, you, what do you say to that? The software is to tell you what is happening outside. Uh -huh. And you are supposed to take the appropriate action. Everything must have been stated in the manual. Because before this aircraft is drawn into service, the more that don't test flights, put it through a lot of stress. The, the airframe was have been taken to the wind tunnel, look at the stress, the strain, then things that might likely happen. Now, for that stalling, they had um, a sort of a, a wind beam that they put on both sides of the Palace side, outside, outside the airplane. It, it's, it's a miniature aircraft. It's a miniature aircraft that shows the relative airflow over the airplane mm. to show where it wants to stall, what is stalling. It, it shows you the angle of, of attack relative to the airflow. It shows that the aircraft is not moving forward as it's supposed to be. Is that the same thing that happens to the principle of the Concord when you get to a particular place, the stalling? Yes. Stalling is stalling on any machine. We, the, 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 the forward movement is almost coming to zero. Not zero speed, but compared to the weight and the configuration of the airplane. How, how does that affect the trajectory uh, from takeoff? Because uh, if this is happening within 10 minutes of takeoff or yeah. within 10 yeah. minutes to landing, you Not to landing. To, no, no, to, I know, to take off, uh, okay. to, uh, for takeoff. But as I earlier said... You can said, also have it in a, landing. Yes, that's why I said. It's, you, you said the critical points are the takeoff and then the landing. Yes. So I'm, I'm looking at the trajectory um, before it hits uh, maximum. Yeah. When it's taking off, the factors that come into play is the wind, the velocity, and the then the inertia, the thrust. Yes. Yeah. Those are the three elements that come into play. But if the, um, the material... That's the aluminum that is used for the body parts of the, or shall I say, the external shell okay. of, the, of the plane. Will that also play a major contributing factor to the efficiency of the plane? No, no, no. The, 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 is the airflow over the aerodynamic shape of the airplane that matters now. Now you have, at any particular time, there are four forces acting on the plane. The lift up, the drag, 
No, the lift. You have the trust, which is the power movement. Then you have the drag, then the weight of the airplane. Those are the four forces. It is these four forces that are balanced at any particular time to get the airplane moving forward. Okay. So if yeah. any of them, if any of them is um, imbalanced, as imbalanced, you know, exactly. That's the point at which a crash is going to happen. Exactly. So if Boeing is aware of that, and then the software it has made to counter these concerns. If it is not working, why doesn't Boeing just stop <laughs> the production of this? We know that some, some airlines in different countries have grounded theirs, but Boeing says it's... It's, it's, it's and US says uh -huh. They say that, no, going to look when, at, when, I, when I, are going I, to drop I, it? I'm not talking for Boeing, but I believe what they would do is go back to the drawing board. No, no, I believe the what system. they should do, like Toyota has done, is to recall all the ones that are already out there. Wouldn't that be a way to go? Yes, yes. Right now... Singapore, Australia, I think I have this morning, Argentina, so many countries have granted UK, UK, France, uh, France, Ethiopia, of course. of course, Ethiopia, Indonesia, Australia. Now, the, even those people who have placed orders and are not collected will be skeptical now. No, but, but some I, I, might I even cancel. Epi says it's too early. To come to any conclusion, say, so yes. hang on, guys. Yes. They said, no, 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 it's too early at the moment. But the minister also released a statement uh, yesterday about this whole scenario. Do you think that they should go ahead and take delivery? No, order? no, no, they won't. Even right now, Boeing will not deliver until when all these things are sorted out. Uh -oh. Because if, if you get them back, now I can tell you this, because of that crash of Sunday, as of yesterday, the stock of Boeing has no died. By about six percent, seven percent. This this aircraft, this Max Eight, is just a year old, or two years old. Um, March 20, 2017, 20, 29. Yes, two years. Two years okay. old. Now, we have had two crashes. A number of incidences that are largely unreported, but two major crashes costing the lives of about three fifty people. Um, and these have only happened in, you know, third world countries, so to speak. Um, in America, we haven't had one case, maybe unreco unreported, and there are about, as at the last count, about 45 aircrafts, max eight, you know, flying in the U.S. Um, is there any cause for concern? about, okay, whether, okay, there are special ones being no, 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 okay, no, that's no, 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 that's taking, I'm, I'm just saying, that, 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 it's a conspiracy theory that some people have, yes. have that's, I don't think so. that's one. The secondly, now, you talked about the other time, the struggle between man and machine now, where the software is, you know, um, fighting with the human being and, and all of that. Clearly, this is calling for a lot more in terms of training in terms of access to human control of this machine ultimately because if the computer fails at some point the human being should be able to take control but exactly. in these two in instances we found a situation where there's a struggle between man and machine and ultimately the machine wins that's a process of manual reversion exactly well like i said the first crash in jakarta the previous day the crew that took the machine, the same machine, had this problem. And they cut off that system and went manual. And the aircraft operated fine, but the, and the case was reported anyway. So what I think, what I think, my personal opinion, is that when the computer fails, knock it off, go manual. Yeah, but, but there is over, over de dependency on, on the system, on computers. Yeah, but is it that these countries don't know this? They are, the, the captain that flew the Ethiopia, they said it was one of their best. It took 800 hours. 8,000 8, hours of yes. life. So they should know these things. Human beings are prone to errors. But if you, 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 to... you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. If you go through some accident reports, you'll be shocked of some things that could cause an accident. Yeah. 
even communication. I tell you this. There was a, there was a crash, Panam and Kelem, in one of these Caribbean and Tenerife, so many years back, where 500 and, I think 540 or 584. Yes, it's the worst in the world. It's the worst in the world. What caused the crash? Communication. Line up and roll versus line up and hold. Once 747 was on the ground, landed, trying to taxi to clear up the wrong way, another machine was told, line up and hold. The guy had line up and roll. It was early in the morning, it was foggy. The 747 went to the threshold and under power, line up and roll. Whereas it was told, line up and hold. By the time he saw the other 747 just trying to come out of the wrong way, it was too late. Pull up the machine, you couldn't make it. Since that day now, they changed it to line up and wait. Accidents when they are to up, look, 70%, 80% of, of accidents are women hero. Those days or now? Even now. Okay, because I thought you said ever yeah. since they introduced them. Even that, now. They cut yeah, it down. They, 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 they cut it down. Maybe 80% before, maybe now 60, 65%. But even, I will even say it's still there because when the computer goes haywire, it is now your responsibility to knock it off. Which is <laughs> which comes back to the same thing. If you knock off the automation, automation, automation of the, this yes. thing, and you go manual, couldn't the same thing still happen? No, the same human error. Now, you are aware, you are conscious of what made you to switch off the computer. So the crew awareness now comes in. The crew resource management now comes in between all the crew members on board between you and the co-pilot. Look, this is what is happening. This is what has happened. This is what you should wait for. You know, there are some systems, by the time you even switch them off, it will affect some other systems. Is it possible that a, an auto system declines switch off? No. 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 But no. Do you, do you... If, 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 if you refuse to switch off, pull the circuit breaker. Because it gets the source of power from the... Circuit breaker, knock it you off. Know, it's not like your house. Your, your electricity, you switch it off, it won't switch off. Knock it off mains. from the circuit breaker, from the mains. What do you think we should be doing as a country now? Because, yes, I know you said that the, the, those airlines that ordered, they, ca they can't even take delivery because you say Boeing won't deliver. Boeing will not deliver. But do you see the economics? Until when this problem is sorted out. And you see them really addressing this because if South Airlines says, look, we've not had problems, we're going to keep flying, and some other countries have grounded their airline, do you see them withdrawing this? Like in America, if Southwest or American Airlines, I think Southwest and American Airlines are the major users yes. in America, yeah. the National Transport Safety Board will, will come in. The American National Transport Safety Board will come in. As a pilot, sir and a crash is imminent, what will be going on in the pilot's mind? I tell you this. Do you think that pilot also wants to die? No. He doesn't want to die. The pilot will continue flying the machine. We continue doing everything that is possible for him to save the life of the people on board. I tell you this. As a young student pilot, there is a saying that we used to have in those that they say <clears throat> that doctors' mistakes are covered by Mother Earth. Wife's mistakes are covered by girlfriend. But the pilot's mistakes, he pays for it. Because he's also involved.
Good place to anchor. Even the journalist mistakes too. Yes. They pay for it. Retired Vice Marshal Femi Ayani, certified C130 training captain. First of all, the pilot, we appreciate your coming on this morning, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, we'll be back in a moment. I turn attention to a different matter entirely. Don't go away. <laughs>